ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम ऑल टू टुडे इज रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितमृत मतरेला चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व वर्स सिक्सटी थ्री वी विल कंटिन्यू आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम मुकुम करोति वाचनम पंगुम लंघे ते गिरिम यत कृपा तमंग बंदे श्री गुरुम दीन तारिणम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्यश्वर हरिओम तत्सत प्रभु स्पर्शे राजपुत्रेरा हाइला प्रेम आवेश स्वेद कंप अश्रु स्तंभ पुलक विशेष एज सून एज अ प्रिंस वॉज टस्ट बाई लॉर्ड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु सिम्टम्स ऑफ एक्स्टैटिक लव इमीडिएटली मैनिफेस्टेड दम सर्व इन इज बॉडी दीज सिम्टम्स इंक्लूडेड परस्पिरेशन ट्रेमलिंग थियर्स बींग स्टन एंड जुबिलेशन वर्स नंबर सिक्सटी फोर कृष्णा कृष्णा कहे नाचे करया रोदन तान्र भाग्य देखी श्लाघा करे भक्त गणा द बॉय बिगैन टू क्राई एंड डांस एंड ही चैंटेड कृष्ण कृष्ण अपॉन सींग हिज बॉडली सिम्टम्स एंड हिज चैंटिंग एंड डांसिंग ऑल द डिवोटीज प्रेज हिम फॉर हिज ग्रेट स्पिरिचुअल फॉर्चून वर्स नंबर सिक्सटी फाइव तबे महाप्रभु तान्रे धैर्य करायला नित्य आसी आमाय मिलिह ऐ आज्ञा दिला आज्ञा दिला एट दैट टाइम श्री चेतन ने महाप्रभु कम द यूथ एंड ऑर्डर हिम टू कम देयर डेली टू मीट हिम वर्ष सिक्सटी सिक्स विदाय राय ऐ आयला राजपुत्रे लेना राजा सुख पायला पुत्रेरा चेष्टा देखिया Ramanand Rai and the boy then departed from Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramanand took him back to the king's palace the king was very happy when he heard of his son's activities verse 67 putre alingan kari prema vishth haila sakshat parasha yena mahaprabhu ra paila Just by embracing his son, the king was filled with ecstatic love, just as he had touched Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu directly. Verse sixty-eight. Say hi to Bhagyavan Rajar Nandana Prabhu Bhakt Gana Madhye Haila Ek Jana. From then on, the fortunate prince was one of the most intimate devotees of the Lord. Purport in this regard, Sri Prabodhananda Saraswati writes. यत कारुण्य कटाक्ष वैभव बताम इफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु सिंपली ग्लांस्ड एट समवन फॉर अ मोमेंट दैट पर्सन इमीडिएटली टर्न इन टू वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉन्फिडेंशियल डिवोटीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड द प्रिंस केम टू सी द लॉर्ड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम बट बाय द लॉर्ड मस सी दट बॉय इमीडिएटली बिकेम अ टॉप मोस्ट डिवोटी दिस वॉज नॉट इन थियरी बट इन प्रैक्टिस वी कैन नॉट अप्लाई द नग्न Matrika Nyaya formula. This states that if one's mother was naked in her childhood, she should continue to remain naked, even though she has become the mother of so many children. If a person is actually blessed by the mercy of the Lord, he can immediately become a topmost devotee of the Lord. The, the logic of the Nagna Matrika states that if a person is not elevated. on such and such a date he cannot become an exalted devotee overnight as it were this particular instance offers evidence to contradict that theory in the previous on the previous day the boy was simply an ordinary prince and the next day he was counted as one of the topmost devotees of the lord this was all made possible by the causeless mercy of the lord the lord is omnipotent all powerful lord almighty and he can act as he likes वर्ष नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन ऐमत महाप्रभु भक्त गण संगे निरंतर क्रीड़ा करे संकीर्तन रंगे दस श्री चैतन महाप्रभु एक्टेड इन द सोसाइटी ऑफ हिस् प्योर डिवोटीज परफॉर्मिंग हिज पास टाइम्स एंड स्प्रेडिंग द संकीर्तन मूवमेंट वर्ष नंबर सेवेंटी आचार्य आदि भक्त करे प्रभु रे निमंत्रण ताहान ताहान भिक्षा करे लेना भक्त गण Some of the prominent devotees, like Advaita Chara, used to invite Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to take his meals at their homes. The Lord accepted such invitations accompanied by his devotees. Verse number seventy-one. Ay mata nana range dina kat keita gela jagannathera ratha yatra nikat haila. 
In this way, the Lord passed some days in great jubilation. Then the car festival of Lord Jagannath approached. Verse 72. Prathame Kashi Mishre Prabhu Bulaila Paricha Patra Sarva Bhome Bolan Anila. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu first of all called for Kashi Mishra, then for the superintendent of the temple, then for Sarvam Bhattacharya, verse number 73. Teen jana paashe prabhu hasiya kahila gundi cha mandir marjana seva magi nila. When these three people came before the Lord, he begged them for permission to wash the temple known as gundi cha. However, the gundi cha temple is situated two miles northeast of the Jagannath temple. At the time of the Rath Yatra festival, Lord Jagannath goes to the Gundicha temple from his original temple and stays there for one week. After one week, he returns to his original temple. It is understood by hearsay that the wife of Indradyumna, the king who established the Jagannath temple, was known as Gundicha. There is also mention of the name of the Gundicha temple. In authoritative scripture, the area of the Gundisha temple is estimated to be 288 cubits by 215 cubit. A cubit is about a foot and a half. The main temple inside is about 36 cubits by 30 cubits and the Kirtan hall is 32 cubit by 30 cubits. Verse 74 Paricha kahe ami sab sevak tomar ye tomar ichcha se kartavya amar upon hearing the lord's request for permission to wash the gundicha temple the paricha the superintendent of the temple said my dear sir we are all your servants whatever you desire is our duty to perform verse 75 vishesh rajar agya Enache Amare Prabhura Agya Yese Shigra Karibare. The king gave a special order for me to do without delay whatever your lordship orders. Verse 76. Tumar Yogi Seva Nahe Mandir Marjana E Eka Leela Kara Ye Tumar Mana. My dear lord, washing the temple is not service befitting you. Nonetheless, if you wish to do so, it is to be accepted as one of your pastimes. Verse 77. Kintu ghata samar jani bahut chahiye agya deha aji sabha ihan ani diye. To wash the temple, you need many water pots and rooms. Therefore, order me. I can immediately bring all these things to you. Verse 78. Nutan eka shata ghata shata samar jani paricha aniya dila prabhura icha jani. As soon as the superintendent understood the desire of Lord, he immediately delivered a hundred new water pots and a hundred brooms for sweeping the temple. Verse 8.79 Ardine prabhate lena nijgana shri haste. Sabar Ange Lepila Chandan. The next day early in the morning, the Lord took his personal associates with him and with his own hands made sandalwood pulp on their bodies. Verse number 80. Shri Haste Dila Sabare Eka Eka Marjani Sabha Gana Lena Prabhu Chalila Apani. He then gave each devotee a broom with his own hand and asked, taking all of them personally with him, the Lord went to Bundicha. Verse 81 Gundicha Mandire Gela Karite Marjana Prathame Marjani Lena Karila Shodana. In this way, the Lord and his associates went to cleanse the Gundicha temple. At first, they cleansed the temple with the brooms. Verse 82 Bhitar Mandir Upara Sakala Majila Simhasan Maji Punaha Stapana Karila. The Lord cleansed everything inside the temple very nicely, including the ceilings. Then he took upon the sitting place in Hasana, cleansed it and again put it in its original place. Verse 83 Chota Bada Mandir Kaila Marjana Shodhana Pache Taiche Shodhila Shri Jagamohana.
Thus the Lord and his companions cleansed and swept all the temple buildings big and small and finally cleansed the area between the temple and the Kirtan Hall. Verse number 84. Chari dike shata bhaktas samar jani kare apani shodhena prabhu shikha na sabare. Indeed, hundreds of devotees were engaged in cleansing all around the temple and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was personally carrying out the operation just to instruct others. Verse 85 Premo Lase Shodhena Laina Krishna Nama Bhakta Gana Krishna Kahe Kare Nijikam Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu washed and cleansed the temple in great jubilation, chanting the holy name of the Lord Krishna all the time. Similarly, all the devotees were also chanting and at the same time performing their respective duties. Verse 86 Dhuli dhusara tanu dekhite shobhana kaha kaha ashru jale kare samarjana The entire beautiful body of the Lord was covered with dust and dirt. In this way, it became transcendently beautiful. At times, while cleansing the temple, the Lord shed tears, and in some places, he even cleansed with those tears. Verse 87 Bhoga Mandira Shodhana Kari Shodhila Prangana Sakal Avas Krame Karela Shodhana. After this, the place where the deity's food was kept, Bhoga Mandira was cleansed. Then the yard was cleansed, and then all the residential quarters, one after the other. Verse 88 Trinadhuli Jinkura Sabha Ekra Ekatra Kariya Bahir Vase Lena Felaya Bahira Kariya. After Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu collected all the straw, dust, and grains of sand in one place, he gathered it all in his cloth and threw it outside. Verse 89 E Mata Bhakta Gana Kari Nijavase Trinadhuli Bahire Felaya Param Harishe. Following the example of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all the devotees in great jubilation began to gather straws and dust with their own plots and threw them outside the temple. Verse 90 Prabhu kahe ke keta kayacha samarjana trinadhuli dikhele janiba parishrama. The Lord then told the devotees, I can tell how much you have labored and how well you have cleansed the temple simply by seeing. All the straw and dust you have collected outside. Verse 91. Sabar Jantana Bojha Ekatra Karila Sabha Haite Prabhura Bojha Adhik Haila. Even though all the devotees collected dirt in one pile, the dirt collected by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was much greater. Verse 92. E Mata Abhyantara Karila Marjana Punaha Sabakare Dila Kariya. Vantana. After the inside of the temple was cleansed, the Lord again allotted areas for the devotees to cleanse. Verse 93. Sukshma dhuli trina kankara sabha karaha dura bhala mate shodhana karaha prabhura antaha pura. The Lord then ordered everyone to cleanse the inside of the temple by perfectly taking finer dust straws and grains of sand and throwing them outside verse 94 sabha vaishnav lena yabe dui bar shodila deki mahaprabhura mane santosh haila after shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and all the vaishnavs cleansed the temple for the second time shri chaitanya mahaprabhu was very happy to see the cleansing work verse 95 ar shat jana shat ghate jalabhari Prathame Lena Ache Kal Apekshakari. While the temple was being swept, about a hundred men stood ready with the filled water pots and they simply awaited the Lord's order to throw the water from them. Verse 96. Jala An Bali Yabe Mahaprabhu Kaila Tabe Shata Ghata Ani Prabhu Age Dila. As soon as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu called for water, all the men immediately brought the hundred water pots which were completely filled and delivered them before the Lord. Verse 97 Prathame Karila Prabhu Mandir Prakshalana Urdhva Adho Bhiti 
Griha Madhya Simhasana. In this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu first washed the main temple and then thoroughly washed the ceilings, the walls, the floor, the sitting place and everything else within the room. Verse 98 Kapara Kapara Bharya Jal Urdhve Chalaila Se Jale Urdhva Shodhi Bhiti Prakshalaila Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself and his devotees began to throw water onto the ceiling. When this water fell, it washed the walls and the floor. Verse 99 Shri Haste Karena Simhasanera Marjana Prabhu Age Chale Ani Deya Bhaktagana then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to wash the sitting place of Lord Jagannath with his own hands and all the devotees began to bring water to the Lord. Verse number 100. Bhakta Gana Kare Griha Madhya Prakshalana Nija Nija Haste Kare Mandira Marjana All the devotees within the temple began to wash. Each one had a broom in his hand and in this way they cleansed the temple of the Lord. Verse number 101. Keha jal ani deya mahaprabhura kare, keha jal deya tanra charana upare. Someone brought water to pour into the hands of Shitana Mahaprabhu and someone poured water on his lotus feet. Verse 102. Keha lukana kare se jal paana, keha magi laya, keha anya kare dana. The water then that fell from the lotus feet of Shitana Mahaprabhu was drunk by someone who hid himself. Someone else begged for that water. The other person was giving the water in charity. Verse 103. Ghar dhuli, ghar dhui, prana likaya jal chadi dila, se jal prangana sabha bhariya raila. After the room was washed, the water was let out through an outlet and it then flowed and filled the yard outside. Verse 104 Nija Vastre Kaila Prabhu Griha Samarjana Mahaprabhu Nija Vastre Majila Simhasana The Lord mopped the rooms with his own cloth, clothes, and he polished the throne with them also. Verse 105 Shatagata Jale Haila Mandir Marjana Mandir Shodhiya Kaila Yena Nijamana. In this way, all the rooms were cleansed with the hundred water pots. After the rooms had been cleansed, the minds of the devotees were cl as clean as the rooms. Verse 107. Sorry, verse 106. Nirmala Shitala Snigda Karila Mandire Apana Ridaya Yena Dharaila Bhaire. When the temple was cleansed, it was purified. Cool and pleasing, just as if the Lord's own pure mind had appeared. Verse 107. Shata Shata Jana Jala Bhare Sarovare Ghate Sthan Nahi Keha Kupe Jala Bhare. Since hundreds of men were engaged in bringing water from the lake, there was no place to stand on the banks. Consequently, someone began to draw water from a well. Verse 108. Purna Kumbha. Lena Aise Shatta Bhakta Gana Shunya Ghatta Lena Yaya Ar Shatta Jana Hundreds of devotees brought waters in the pots and hundreds took the empty pots away to fill them up again. So thank you for joining. We will continue from verse 109 of the 12th chapter of Madhilila of Shichatana Charitamrit. Thank you for joining. Hariyam Tatsa, Hare Krishna, Krishna Daska Viraj Kuswami Ki Jai, Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai.